Please. Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel and today we are checking out the LPS-023 single cut guitar from Groat. I've got to go over some of these features like right off the bat guys. Check this out. Hand polished stainless steel frets, a real bone nut, mahogany body and mahogany neck, and a rosewood fretboard. Now I'm gonna go over all the specs and tell you guys all about it and some of the things that I really like about this guitar. But first, as usual, I have written and recorded an all new jam on this guitar just for this video. Check it out. So how'd you guys like that jam? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you could also do me a really quick favor, just check and see if you're subscribed already. And if you're not, maybe you could reach down and hit that subscribe button for me. Thanks guys. Alrighty, so the guitar, yeah. So this is a Groat, guys. This is my very first time trying a Groat guitar. But Groat guitars are made by the same company, the same factory, the same guys that make the Redig guitars and the Volgoa guitars. And over the past year or so, I have reviewed several of those. So I was pretty sure, guys, when I got this, that it was gonna be pretty good based on my past experiences with those other two brands. And I was right. Yeah, it plays good and sounds good. One of the things that I really like about this is that it is super light. Oh my gosh. I weighed it with my little digital scale. It comes in at 5.68 pounds. Yes, super light. Totally different than like your normal traditional Les Paul guitar, right? Look how thin the body is. Way thinner than a normal Les Paul. Now what grabbed my attention about this guitar, guys, were the P90 pickups because I, I really have almost no experience with P90 pickups. Um, I did review one of the redid guitars. It was a hollow body and it just had like one P90 pickup, like more in the neck position. So kind of a, I mean, yeah, it's a P90, but it wasn't really the same kind of guitar. It didn't have a pickup in the bridge. So I really wanted to see like what this was going to sound like. Um, when I saw the picture, I was just like, wow, that looks super cool. I really like the whole aesthetic of this with the cream colored P90s, the single cut design. Um, the sunburst finish and the fact that it's a matte finish and not a high gloss finish. So when I saw that on Amazon, I was just like, yeah, 
I, I need to try that one out. I really want to check this one out. And it does come in two other colors, but this was the color that was really like kind of calling out to me. Now, as I mentioned earlier, guys, it does have hand polished stainless steel frets with the rounded ball ends. So you are not going to get any sharp edges whatsoever. And the fret work, you know, just like on the other stuff from the Redid and the Volgoa stuff, really good fret work, no fret buzz, no complaints at all on the frets. Of course, they're not super big frets, they're just like your standard medium sized frets, but it's great for this kind of guitar. And I really like the more simple control layout on this kind of guitar, you know, it's more like a Les Paul Special or an Epiphone Les Paul Special, something like that, where it's just one volume, one tone, and then the three-way toggle down here rather than up here because I'm just used to grabbing it down here anyway. Now check out the neck joint, guys. Look at that. Look at that, it's really nice. There's a lot less wood in the way. It's a lot less chunky feeling than like your sort of traditional Les Paul set neck design. They've carved away some of that. It's a lot more comfortable when you're up here playing those upper frets. And I really wish they would do that kind of design on all the single cut guitars. I just think it's so much better. And then when you look at the bottom horn here, you see it's a little bit different. They've got that little bit of cutaway right there. And it's almost like a sharp point. I think that looks really cool. I love that. Now the finish on the guitar, guys, it is a matte finish. So there's no high gloss. And because this wood is mahogany, you know, mahogany is a very porous material. It's got a lot of little like dips in it. Those are the pores in the wood. It's just the nature of the wood. So because this does not have high gloss, you can really see all those little pores and little kind of look like, look like little pits or whatever. Um, there's not anything wrong with it. That's just the mahogany. That's the wood. And if you don't put a high gloss finish on it, then you're going to see that a lot more. And you can actually feel it as you run your hand across the top and the edges and the back and everything. You, you can see the wood. You can feel it. I really like that because I like that more natural look and feel. But for some of you guys, you know, you might be going like this and going, oh, that's, oh, is it, what's that? I don't like that. It feels a little bit rough. Well, again, that's just the nature of the mahogany, especially along the edges when they cut the wood. You know, it's not like perfectly smooth. And um, yeah, again, because it's, it's not high gloss, it's not gonna be perfectly smooth. But just remember guys, that's the mahogany that you're feeling and not really like, they didn't mess up on the finish. It's just that you can feel the wood under this matte finish. Okay, so we've got binding on the neck, right guys? So one thing I do have to tell you as far as the binding, you can feel that little, the edge where the binding meets the neck. You can feel the, the edge there. So pretty much like the binding is not quite out as far as the edge of the neck. So there's a tiny little, I don't know what you would call it, but you can feel it. You can feel the line going all the way along there and on this side as well. You can feel it. So they didn't quite match that up perfectly. It doesn't bother me. I don't even notice it when I'm playing. But, you know, just something for you guys to be aware of. The tuners, guys, we've got Grover style chrome tuners. Really good, really smooth, they turn great. Yeah, no issues with the tuners. Okay, now these P90 pickups. We have to talk about these P90 pickups. This is a different pickup style than what I'm used to using, right? I'm used to the high output Alnico 5 most of the time pickups where I can get that great 80s hard rock sound. These are not that. And they're not really designed for that high output metal sound. That's not what they are. I checked them both with my multimeter and they were both coming in right around like eight and a half K. Now when I recorded the demo, they still sounded pretty good, but I do have a noise gate turned on. And I noticed when I turned off the noise gate, well, there was a lot more noise coming through. So again, because they're not really high output pickups, they're not metal pickups, um, so they do have a tendency to be like a little bit noisy and maybe microphonic if you have the gain turned up too high. So what I'm gonna do for you guys right now is I'm gonna give this guitar the cheap amp test. I'm gonna play it with the crunch and clean through this little cheap 15 watt Fender amp. No effects, no reverb, nothing. Check it out. <laughs> happens when I turn the gain all the way up guys right now it's about halfway on five but if I turn the gain all the way up 
Yeah, see, you get a lot of noise and some feedback. So I'm having to keep the gain at right about like 50%, right at the uh, number five. <laughs> So as you saw, it doesn't sound bad. It sounds actually pretty good as long as you don't have that gain cranked all the way up because of the pickups. And let's be real guys, most people getting this guitar, you're, you're probably not getting this to do metal. It's gonna be like rock, blues, and you're not gonna really need that high gain sound. So I still think it's a good choice, just not really for metal, but anything else, yeah. I love the whole look of it, the stainless steel frets, Plays good, I love that 5.68 pound weight. Feels good when I'm holding it or standing up. So yeah, definitely getting the stamp of approval. Now right now guys, these are on Amazon for $159, but I just checked it right before recording this video and there is an $11 coupon. That means you can get one of these for $148. So if you wanna check it out, you want more information, of course I've got that Amazon link down in the description. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.